after what seems like weeks, um, weeks of, well, we had the full moon that I had to work through, and then we've just had um, either cloudy weather or we've had um, excessive uh, winds, winds in the 20 mile per hour range. And so I couldn't run the mount even on clear nights during um, the past couple of weeks because it's either been cloudy or it's been windy um, or it's been a full moon. And that's kind of the way it works with astrophotography. You kind of work as you can as you're able to um, and that's just the way it is. So tonight I'm hoping to finish up the Leo triplet. I've got about five hours of data uh, from the last time that I shot it which was almost three weeks ago and so it's going to be fun um, shooting it tonight and so basically it's getting dark uh, the sun has just set it's a little bit of color left in the sky over here in the west and I've got to put my scope on and connect everything up and then um, balance my mount and get it ready for the night. Okay. I've got power to everything, so now comes the balancing part. Got to make sure that when you balance, you got to pull your hood out and take off your lens cover so that way um, you get a good hmm, that seems to be about yeah okay got that one on yeah in order to get your balance especially on your um, deck here everything looks balanced and we're good to go now because the last time that I used this um, as you can probably tell I mounted on a pier and the last time that I used this scope I don't know if you can even see me it's getting pretty dark out here um, I did a polar alignment and then it's been not used for the past uh, three weeks so I'm debating in my head whether or not to do a polar alignment or just use the polar alignment from the previous time that I used it um, I don't know but here we are and I'll figure out if I'm going to do polar alignment if I do I need to get my pole master out I probably should just because that might be the better part of valor you can hear the breeze blowing it just powered itself off I, I don't know why but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and open up my pole master where's my pole master there we are it would help if I had my eyeglasses but I didn't bring them with me so they're sitting in the house We're 
pretty darn right on. I don't know if you can even see this. Well, you can see the red and green are kind of dancing. And they're dancing so they're right on each other. So I'm going to say that that is finished. All right. We are polar aligned. I didn't have to do anything fancy. Okay. Now let me unpark the mount. Let me see. We are at all right, negative 10. That's good. So now I'm going to make sure. Yep. Uh, enable PPEC. PPEC. PPEC is on. And I have unparked my mount, which is great. So now let me go to the sequencer, and I'm going to go ahead and start it. So now the mount is slewing. And once it's slewed, we'll get our first shot and see whether or not we're on target. Yeah, 1.01. see my guiding graph here it's not very good yeah scenes yeah it's a lot of twinkling stars when you get a lot of twinkling that's not very good so I don't know what um, tonight's images are gonna look like they're probably gonna be pretty tough Guiding sucks. Sucks. All right. Well, we're auto focused, and now we're going to start imaging. Yep. Okay. We're focused. So let me go here and see. Okay, well you can see just off of this, uh, apparently we're starting off with H alpha. Well let me show you what this looks like, one to one. Uh, stars look alright, but you can already see there's a galaxy right there. It's now part of the Leo triplet. Little triplets more over here. So you can see one right there. Um, I'm not sure which one that one is. And I should have the hamburger over here somewhere. Ah, there it is right there. Got one right there. This was like a five second exposure, so it's six seconds. And then there should be another one up over here. it's a star and then there's that one right there so we've got that was just a six second exposure so we've got the hydrogen coming in here uh, I'll see what the hydrogen looks like I don't expect much on the hydrogen I'm just doing hydrogen in case there's any nebula in those galaxies that I can possibly pick up got about another 50 seconds left and then I can see what the um, HA looks like which again I'm not expecting much because again um, there may not be much HA signal in these guys 
When I shoot galaxies, I generally tend to shoot LRGB, but I also shoot HA in case there's, you know, some nebula um, in the dust lanes and, and in the arms that you want to, you know, make pop. And that's what the HA does for you. You kind of combine it in with your red channel and you get a nice uh, pop of red. Um, and so that's why I'm doing HA, just to see if there's any HA signal um, in, the, in any of these galaxies here. So there we go. Yeah, we got a little, we got a little bit of HA signal in there. Uh, we just got our first sub in. So as you can see right here, got a little bit in there. Come over here. Oh yeah, look at that. See? You got some right in there. You got some coming up this way. So you can see the bar right here of the galaxy. And then you can see a little bit of trailing up there and a little bit of trailing there. Let's go down and take a look at the hamburger down here. Yeah, you got a little bit right in there. You can see the top. There's a there's a dark dust lane that goes right that bisects right through the galaxy here. So you've got the core here, and you got a little bit of uh, hydrogen there, and a slight a hydrogen signal at the top, just above that. So that's pretty good. So now it's just take them until 2 o'clock in the morning. It's uh, 8.15 here. Uh, my guiding's coming down. Um, I'm at 0.72. Uh, for right now, um, 0.34, so that's good. Uh, my overall so far has been 0.71, so it's coming down. So I think we're good to go. So, um, yeah. Now I'm going to close up shop here and let this thing run until 2 o'clock. And then tomorrow morning when I get up, I'll go ahead and I'll start doing some master flats. I mean, I'll start doing some flats and dark flats. And, uh, yeah, and then I'll be ready to uh, process uh, the last outing and tonight's shots. So I'll see you when I get this processed.